Australia has moved to create the world's largest network of marine parks, protecting waters covering an area as big as India. The plan includes limits on oil and gas exploration and extends reef protection in the Coral Sea. But it comes at a cost. The compensation bill is expected to be hundreds of millions of dollars. Environment reporter Connor Duffy has the details. Framed by sharks, Tony Burke announced the biggest ocean conservation plan the country's ever seen, without getting wet. It's a bigger step forward than the globe has ever previously seen. Australia is a good manager of its fisheries, but that doesn't mean we can't go a step further and establish a national parks estate within the ocean. These official maps show protected areas right around the country. Mostly beyond the reach of recreational fishers, the colours show different levels of protection. Some waters are completely off limits, particularly a massive new network offshore from North Queensland. Make no mistake, the jewel in the crown of the entire process goes to the Coral Sea. This footage captured off the West Australian coast shows some of the areas in the frame for protection. There's a whole generation of Australians who haven't experienced the big environmental delivery um, um, that we've seen in the past with the Franklin, the Great Barrier Reef. Not everyone's celebrating this announcement. Commercial fishermen see their livelihoods at stake and their boats stuck idle in port. They're vowing to fight this and they've received some support from the Coalition. Perth-based fisherman Clayton Nelson employs about 20 people harvesting the sea for scallops, prawn and fish. With the area they can fish cut by a third, he fears for their future. We've got investments in infrastructure, in vessels, in crews, livelihood, their families. Um, it's an it's a important part of our life. We campaigned on this last time uh, and uh, won just about every seat on the coast of, uh, on the coast of uh, Queensland. But now this goes right around Australia now. The government says fishers it's will be bought out. Figures in the order of $100 million have been used, uh, but I don't want to commit to that being precisely the number. We're working it through on a case-by-case -case basis. Before the ocean policy is legislated, there will be a 60-day consultation period. Conservation groups will push for oil and gas restrictions. Fishermen want the whole plan thrown out. Connor Duffy, ABC News.